My name is Fen Zhang. Uh, I'm an assistant professor at the pharmaceutics department at the University of Texas at Austin. My research is in the amorphous solid dispersion in general to uh, improve the absorption of polysoluble drugs. One of my particular area of interest is in the uh, melt extrusion to prepare amorphous solid dispersion. The theme is sponsored by the AIPS Farm SciTech, and the topic of the theme is uh, cell mold processing to prepare the pharmaceutical dosage forms. And the guest editor is uh, Mike Repka from University of Mississippi and myself. So if you look what happened over the last 10 years, uh, a lot of commercial product and many, many more in the, in the development pipeline are prepared uh, by the uh, twin screw extrusion process, thermal extrusion process, uh, because of all the polysoluble compounds in the pipelines. They are used to improve the bioavailability of the polysoluble drugs. However, we also realized the importance or the application of the thermal processing to prepare a wide range of the dosage forms, and those are covered in this theme issue. Yeah, so some of the highlights, uh, we have uh, Charlie Martin from Lystris who wrote a paper on just looking at historical aspect of thermal processing because one of the most commonly used equipment for the thermal processing is twin screw extrusion, which Lystris is the uh, lead supplier of the equipment to the industry. Uh, we also have a couple of papers from Merck and Beringer Ingelheim discussing the application of uh, thermal processing to, for the amorphous solid dispersions. Uh, we also have a paper from uh, Dispersal discussing um, the uh, new thermal process equipment, which is Kinetisol, that actually was invented at the University of Texas. So I think there are three group audiences here. The first group, which is the main group here, is uh, the scientists uh, working on the polysoluble compounds. Uh, they are either trying to improve the absorption or trying to improve the consistency uh, in the absorption. The second group of audience will be uh, for someone interested in the continuous manufacturing process. The third group will be for specialty delivery, such as uh, abuse deterrence. As many of you guys might be aware, you know, one of the main applications of extrusion is to prepare uh, uh, abuse deterrent dosage forms. Mm -hmm.